Hey guys, um, I'm just doing a mini uh, sweat fat, post sweat fest video for you because I just did 20, about 20 minutes um, and I'm going to post the link because um, I was just talking about, you know, doing a workout anywhere, anywhere, bringing in uh, moves that you can do anywhere and how you can customize and mix and match and make your own um, little circuits and how you can get a really great blast workout in, in 10 minutes, 20 minutes, sometimes, yeah, I'm not saying it's bad to work out 90 minutes or an hour, sometimes we don't have that. So if you think, oh, I only have 15, 20 minutes and think that you can't get a really nice workout in, you're incorrect. I'll post the link, I did one of Zuzana's workouts, I just picked one randomly, and I thought, I'm just gonna see. So in 20 minutes of doing these circuits, circuits, as you can see, I've burned 152 calories, um, but that's not crazy intense. But what I like is take this workout, do it. See, you know, for me, this is what I'm going to use. I specifically didn't do anything beforehand because I wanted to see if I just did that workout. I was just curious to see how my heart rate got up. It definitely got my heart rate up to about 145. Technically, not that I train for a fat burning zone, but I do know that like 150, uh, when I was last tested. I need to get another uh, test done at Lifetime. But anyway, um, they were showing that 150 is my, um, you know, fat burning zone, whatever. So definitely got my heart rate up to 150. You know, I've burned, let's see, 163 calories. Kind of have the sweat going. You know, it's not, I'm not dying of sweat, but it definitely got things going. And what I wanted to tell you guys is, I'll put the link up to this. Take some of Zuzana's workouts. Take um, some of the P90X, if you have P90X. There's so many things that you can take something like this and then make yourself a little notebook. And remember, you know, the alternating lunges that we did uh, in this video. Um, let's see, I mean, some of these things, jump rope, you know, jumping, in, jumping rope in place doesn't require that you have a jump rope. But here's the funny thing is, I don't know about you guys, that tends to be something that I'll do like in between weight sets to keep my heart rate up. Definitely, I know this sounds silly, but sometimes, you know, I won't actually pretend that I'm holding onto a rope, right? And I will, um, you know, your arms would just tend to be at your sides. In this one, she's doing those super girl, she calls them super girl push-ups, where you do a push-up down, you take your left arm up, your left foot up, and then you do another push-up and you go right arm up, left foot up. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, and maybe it's because my arms were so like really working in that move. And then afterwards, she's doing the jump rope. My arms were burning. Like I was literally finding myself wanting to, to let my arms hang loose, but just make yourself act like you're holding onto a rope because that very motion, can you see? You know, you're actually, you're using your muscles more proactively than, I don't know what the right term is for this. I'll know when I'm a certified trainer very soon. Um, but if you're not holding and you're just loose, you're not working as hard as if you're pretending you're holding something. Believe me, I could feel a difference in my arms. So all that to say, now just babbling with you, I burned 17 more calories. God bless it. This polar is not working. There is no way my heart rate is, see, and now it's at zero. I'm gonna have to talk to my friend Chris because I'm, so, I'm kind of really getting over this polar. It's, now it's at zero, a second ago it was at 188, now it's at 98. I haven't even moved. I'm a little annoyed. Anyway, you guys know I've been using polars for like five years, but lately they just seem to be getting very attitude-y with me. Now, that said, I gotta go. I'll do another sweat fest after I go uh, try to work my buns into more buns of steel. I will see you later today.